when it comes to voice coaching, mm -hmm. who should be doing it? Everybody. Okay, why? Everybody breathes. Everybody speaks. Everybody has learned ways to learn ways to survive. And especially if you are a black person, I'm just going to talk about my perspective, especially if you're a black person, we come into rooms, we come into spaces, we learn to speak a specific way that sometimes is about making other people feel safe because they feel like it's a threat. At least for me, I know that I learn to smile a lot out of safety, but that recalls a lot of tension. I also believe that if you're an athlete, you have like some kind of modality, like you want to look good. Like let's say you're a model you or a dancer, you grew up holding your belly in because thin was in. Meanwhile, that is literally making your physical body smaller and your body doesn't want that. Your voice cannot be produced well. So let's, for example, if I blow all the air out of my, bo my body right now and I start talking, <sighs> hi, how are you? How you doing? Like it changed my, even my demeanor. I got small. Physically, I shrunk because I had no breath. And therefore, it impacts all parts of my life. How I act, I'm an actor. How I teach, how I interact with my partner, how I deal with family drama. If I don't have any breath in my body, how can I tell the truth about how I feel? And if I never tell the truth about how I feel or what I am feeling, how do I know? Like, how do I show up? How can I be not necessarily big, but honest? And so I teach this to anybody and everybody who wants to learn. A lot of people are like, yeah, I want to do podcasts and stuff like that because of your beautiful video. We won't get to that in a minute. Um, <laughs> Um, but a lot of people come to me like, like, when do I use this? I'm like all the time. This is not intended for actors or performers or people who are doing public speaking only. It definitely covers all of that. It will help you show up in a public speaking and be more grounded, more centered. It will help you in an argument where you are able to listen because it's about feeling your body kind of all the time. If you mm. can, you learn to consciously be aware and then you learn through muscle memory how to be aware even when you're not thinking about it.